Utah's real estate is as diverse as its climate. From the summits of Park City all the way to the Red Rocks of St. George, Utah's real estate is bursting with character. Utahns love their real estate. But it's always evolving and changing, whether somebody wants to sell it or remodel it. This is Utah Real Estate Essentials. Well, it's just so fun. So Tyler, where are we headed to on this one? Yeah, we're heading to Central West Jordan. A lot of great new development going on there, new retail shops and places to eat. Okay, so flying in here, you can see, look at all this open space and all the grass. This is beautiful. Yeah, a lot of open space here. You have a lot of grass right off of this uh, condo here. Nice unobstructed views of the mountain, uh, which the, the sellers absolutely love. Yeah, going around the property, you can see they put a lot of detail into this. And look at all the open space. You don't see that anymore because the developers now, as a developer, they're trying to pack everything in so tight. And so uh, this is kind of before they did that. So they still had all that nice open space, perfect for an HOA, where they maintain all the ground so you don't have to do it. And take a look at this. This is beautiful. Yeah, right, absolutely. Tons of space for your kids to play. And then you walk right into a nice open uh, uh, floor plan here and you have a, a, a walkout. Uh, screen door that you can go through. A uh, nice little fireplace heats up the, the entire house within about 10 minutes. And uh, this walk goes right into the kitchen, which is uh, pretty large, and that's one of the, the main selling points that our sellers loved when originally getting into the home. This house was really, uh, the build style was really ahead of its time because everybody right now is kind of building up so lots of open space so everything flows right into everything instead of a box little corners. This is, was uh, very well designed for its time for sure. Right, yeah, absolutely. No one was really doing this around the 2000s, so just a real easy and nice flow when you come into the house. It's coming from the garage straight into the kitchen and you have that nice living area and then straight up to upstairs where you have your bedrooms. Yeah, it looks like they've got a little loft area, which is nice for a little computer area, and then a couple bedrooms, right? Yeah, especially now with everyone working from home, just having that little area where you can set up a desk or have a little reading nook. And then here you have the uh, master bedroom with a nice large uh, ensuite and, and walk-in closet. Yeah, that's perfect. And this is, you know, really light, nice location. You've got those views out those windows. You've got two bedrooms, which is just what you need on this. And take a look at this. There's the other bedroom. Yep. There it is right there, and again, you have, uh, looking out these windows, you have great views of the mountain, and it's gonna be unobstructed. There's not gonna be any more developments blocking your view. And then with this lot being right next to the grass, again, you're not getting anything uh, blocking your view of those mountains there. They're nice, mature trees everywhere you go. And of course, this is part of an HOA, so they have some amenities with it, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a great community, and this is about a, a minute and a half walk from your clubhouse, which is gonna include a, a pool, and you'll know, see here in a second, you're gonna have your your workout area and there's a meeting room as well for large events. Yeah, there's a, there's a developer did a really nice job, very classy design, the way they put everything together and pull the clubhouse in and that big wrap around it. And, and so all the amenities are included, of course, in your HOA, right? Right, yep, absolutely. They also include water, uh, you've got your sewage, your trash, and a few other things as well, such as snow removal and of course, keeping up with the grounds. And there's those views of the mountain, great little product. This one's gonna sell, I'm sure, very, very quick. So Rachel, our Daybreak specialist, knowing all things Daybreak, <laughs> I guess we're going to Daybreak, right? We are going to Daybreak, beautiful home with picket fence, everything you could ever want in Daybreak. So Rachel flying over, look at this, this is just absolutely beautiful. This is a prime location in Daybreak, right up the street from the lake, so you can go down, do your paddle boarding, do your kayaking. It's, it's a great location within Daybreak. Yeah, nice, light, beautiful home, great community. We love Daybreak. I love their little picket fence they put out there and their kind of beachy kind of feel that they have that comes into this. Okay, so beautiful price. We're going inside here. It just looks, uh, I mean, so nice, right? Yeah, when you walk in, there's a den right off the front door that you can use as an office or homeschool room with the way that things have changed in recent times. And then you go into the kitchen, you see the wall oven, the gas range built right into the countertop. And it's really nice too, when you go to the dining area, you could actually have dining outside on that second porch that you have, door right off the dining area, and then you can go right into the backyard with a second door. So it's laid out really nicely so that you have access to all of your extra 
stuff that comes with the home. Yeah, that's one of the things Daybreak has done really well. They've really thought about floor plans and been very creative and brought something to Utah that we've never seen before. And yeah. It's, which is so nice. And you can see that. This is a great example. Beautiful. Lots of windows, lots of open, you know, kind of feel, which is so great. And then their backyards and the way they connect everything together. And the park, the community, the parks and everything, right? Yep. This one's right down the street from one of the biggest parks in Daybreak. There's a second park right around the corner. And another nice thing, like you were saying about the layouts, is they make sure that they include a lot of closets in these homes, the pantries. It's got a lot of the things that people have on their wish list when they're looking for homes. Yeah, they do a good job because they, they build, it feels like a million dollar home, even though these are a fraction of that cost. Yes, absolutely. And it's nice too, some people are unsure about HOAs, but when you get into the Daybreak HOA, you can walk around and you can appreciate what the HOA actually does. Maintains the landscaping in the area, you have the pools, the parks, and then it also even includes your internet. And a lot of people overlook that. To have that one less expense as a homeowner is really nice. Yeah, and, and which is really nice. And their park system and everything they have going on. Lots of places to ride your bike, places for kids. I mean, if you were a kid to grow up in this community, I mean, it would be just, could you imagine just riding your bike around, meeting all your friends, going to this park, let's go over to that park, let's go fishing down at the lake, whatever it is. I mean, it, it's like California living, but it's right here in Utah, which is just absolutely beautiful. Exactly. And, you know, we, we're finishing the summer series, but there's concerts in the parks in the summer. They're about to have a trick-or-treat activity down on Soda Row. Soda Row has all the businesses with the restaurants and barbershop and ice cream parlor. You know, it has everything that a family is looking for when they're looking for a community to move into. Because it's just that. It's a community as opposed to just a neighborhood. Yeah. Daybreak. It, it's real. It's a destination. They should call it Destination Daybreak. That's what they should call it. I, I just coined that phrase. They need to use that because it really is. The people are, are really getting a lot of value. It's a real quality of life living in Daybreak. I love it. It's Most definitely. It's a lifestyle in Daybreak for sure. So Martha, what got you into real estate? Well, I was selling jewelry for a long time, so I thought, well, if I could sell diamonds, I could sell homes, and I love selling homes. Yeah, and you do a really wonderful well, job. thank you. Now, you also have a foundation to yes. get back, right? It's a nonprofit organization called Passionate Wings. I help women that are fleeing domestic violence get back on their feet. Yeah, and that's and that's a really wonderful charity oh, that you. you have, and it does wonderful things for the community. It does. Yeah, so tell me more about what you like about real estate. I just love helping people um, invest in their biggest investment in their life and once they buy their home we buy a rental home that's right just keep, just going. keep them going right yes. which is a great way to go for buyers yes i love it So Billy, I'm really excited about this one. We're headed to Morgan. You want to talk about out in the country? Yeah. But close to everything. Yeah, absolutely. Morgan's great. Halfway between Park City, halfway between South Weaver. Beautiful country out there. Okay, Billy, take a look at this. Flying over, look at this landscaping. So, so the seller is a professional landscaper. So when you're looking through this, it's put together just right. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's it's gorgeous, Shane. I, I don't think a lot of people really understand, you know, the the number one, the cost and then the amount of work that it puts in or that it takes to make a front yard and landscaping look like this is yeah. beautiful. The best part is the backyard is absolutely beautiful also. Look, take a look at that. They've got a waterfall that goes down and they, they lowered it down. They've got a little seating area down there. And of course, a, a, the back of the property opens to open space. And when you're looking out your windows, you're not looking at it as some other neighbor or something. You're actually looking out wilderness, which is just absolutely amazing. Yeah, I mean, 90% of what you're seeing, especially, you know, the new construction right now is you're looking right outside, right into someone else's window, right? I mean, this is very hard to find with this kind of land, that kind of view, and this type of property. Yeah, as you can see, it's just beautifully put together. And with the right offer, the seller's willing to leave a lot of the furnishings. I don't plan on taking them when, when they go. And so look at this, big vaulted ceilings, and they got those big beams up there. They brought a lot of wood in here, which is a great look because when you're looking out on nature and to bring that nature inside, it, it I mean, it's almost it's like Park City, right? Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. It has that mountain feel, you know, like you said, all the wood, the wood trim around the floors is really nice. The beams are, I mean, that's a super, super nice touch. 
Yeah, a lot of expense that goes into there. So this wasn't an inexpensive build. Very nice house. It's got a walkout basement off the back. And of course, it's got this little deck when you walk out back that's looking over the fence line, looking out at all the scenery and everything. Of course, master on the main floor, which is super ideal. And it's got big closet and a big uh, master bath. Let's talk a little bit about the area, because of course this area, uh, Morgan, is, is really popular right now, right? Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful out there. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's horse country, it's, it's farm country, um, but, you know, Jay, the best part is you're still close. You know, I mean, you hop on the freeway and literally just a few minutes away from, from Layton and shopping and all that stuff, but it still has that out in the middle of nowhere mountain feel to it. Yeah, which is so nice. Take a look at this. They've got an office right on the main floor, as you can see. And again, the furnishings. If you like the furnishings, that might be an option they may be able to put in. Going down to the lower level, the nice thing about that is you still have a ton of light coming in these windows, as you can see. They've got a couple bedrooms down there, and they've, they've gone with a little bit more of a lighter tone in here, which is a good move when you're going into uh, lower levels in houses because it makes it a lot brighter. Yeah, having all this open space and a lot of the natural lighting in here makes us feel really big and really, I mean, look at this room, this room's huge. Um, yeah, the, having the natural light and the, using those light colors is a great move. Yeah, and, and you can see how light and, and just nice this, the lower level is. Then we start talking about basements that you, know, you can get into, it's really dingy, stuff like not in this case. Now take a look at this, they built this in to be a gun locker down here. So you got one of those big security doors down here and uh, you know, if you like guns. Okay, now take a look at, this is your back deck, this is your view looking off your back deck. Notice there's a neighbor to your right, but to, that's it. There's nobody else around. Yeah, this is, this is the view to kill for, for sure. I mean, this is what you don't find in 90% of the properties available in Utah. I mean, they're just, the subdivisions just don't offer this type of landscaping. That view is beautiful. Yeah, and this price range for this type of house, to have this all built in and ready for you just to move in and enjoy. Again, we talk about uh, furnishings, so I imagine some of those outdoor furnishings would be included on that. Take a look at the side entry garage with the extra parking. This is a good one right in that hot price range, just under $500,000 to have a house like this. That's a really good option. So Shane, one of the things I really appreciate is going into a subdivision that you do. The houses are really unique and they have a similar style, but they're totally different. All different. And one thing I love about this neighborhood is that all the houses are completely different. They're, there's nothing cookie cutter about any of them. Yeah, beautiful. So Shane, obviously we're headed down to Lehigh, which is one of the most popular areas that's developing. And take a look at this home, beautiful. Beautiful home. It's out going towards Saratoga Springs by the Jordan River uh, next to the Willow State Park. Gorgeous area. Yeah, and one of the things I like about this is the different color and style of that beautiful big garage, right? Big uh, three-car garage, and the, the color is, is, is unique. It's, it's fun, and it's, uh, it's attractive. Yeah. Walking into the si inside, I like how you added these three stories of, of windows. Makes kind of a dramatic look. Tons of natural light and gorgeous views out those windows. Yeah, and you can really tell uh, the way the colors and everything pull together. Looking at the kitchen, it's one of those big galley style kitchens, but it's open. And so if you're inside the, the kitchen, of course you can be talking to everybody that's in the entertaining area of the house. The kitchen is one of the highlight areas of the home. Uh, this house is very inviting. It, it'll attract a lot of uh, guests for sure. It's got custom cabinets, nice appliance package, uh, nice plumbing, nice lighting. Everything's LED and energy efficient. Yeah, and you can see walking right in off of the garage, you've got that little mud room right there, which is, is really popular right now. Very popular. It's easy to come in, drop your stuff off at the, at the lockers, your shoes, your backpacks, and then get into the home. And one of the things I noticed that you always like to keep that master on the main floor, which uh, is always really great because these houses never go out of style. Somebody didn't have to sell them because they don't want to do the stairs anymore, right? Main floor masters, in my opinion, are a must. I, I don't want to get, I don't want to climb stairs. I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> I got it. And headed into the master bath, you just did some really nice finishes in this. Walk me through that. Nice tile work, uh, nice tub surrounds. Uh, two heads in the shower, uh, Euro style glass doors at the shower. Yeah. And, and big walk in closet. Yeah, gotta have a big walk in closet you can see. And one of the things I noticed is you always do these decorative walls in here. 
uh, you know, just kind of accent pieces, right? Accent walls help make a house a home and adding a little bit of finished carpentry to a wall or two in a home really goes a long way. Yeah. You can really tell lots of windows everywhere you go. You've done a really good job of bringing a natural light in. In this area, let's talk a little bit about Lehigh because Lehigh is really developing. This is where all the tech boom is going in. So this is a perfect executive home on a house on a street that's got multi uh, million dollar homes on. Multi million dollar homes on the street, and yes, Lehigh is is definitely booming. I live in Lehigh myself, and I can feel the growth happening. Yeah, definitely a great area. You're gonna see, you got some great views off the back as that kind of rolls off and you're not gonna have any backyard neighbors, which is really nice. You can look at that beautiful street. It's gorgeous, it's a great place to live. Yeah, and look at up in the mountains, you can see the lake off in the distance. That's a good little area. I have been so excited to be part of your adventure for getting this perfect property and friends in need sanctuary for animals. Tell us a little bit about how you came upon this. Well, my daughter was looking for a, a place to purchase and she mentioned that friends in need animal sanctuary was for sale. And I was excited because I had volunteered here before. And so immediately, in fact, the next day we came up here and we toured the property and we were just so excited to see all of the different animals here and I was excited because I could see some of the projects I had done before still going strong and then all of the aspects of building and doing new things here. Why do household emergencies always happen at the most inconvenient times? Please pass the potatoes. Seems any heating, plumbing, or electrical breakdowns bound to happen after business hours. Well, that's why Black Diamond experts are always on duty with licensed technicians who can be there in just an hour or two, even on Sundays. Call Black Diamond Experts Electric, Plumbing, Heating, and Air anytime. And now get $75 off any repair or replacement. I'm trying. So you're buying a new home, what if something breaks in the first year? Be sure to put an Elevate Home Warranty on your home. It covers furnaces, ACs, water heaters, plumbing, electrical, all the parts and components inside your home. We also do a yearly tune-up for your furnaces and ACs. We are one of the only companies out there that has no limits on our ACs and furnaces. Next time you buy a home, be sure to get an Elevate home warranty. Let's head down to the Red Rocks of St. George and see what the Ames team is up to. We have a phenomenal Entrada property for you this week. I love Entrada, one of my favorite places down in St. George. It's so dramatic, so many different colors, so many different things going on. Oh, absolutely. Entrada and the surrounding area and the golf course and the lifestyle that's what makes Southern Utah, Southern Utah. Yeah, and take a look at this. Uh, nice breezeway as you walk in and look at those beautiful views out those windows. Absolutely. Seeing the views in person are even something completely different and even better. So the view is out past the home, which you can see the, the floor to ceiling windows. They're unobstructed, perfect views of golf course and snow canyon. Yeah, very nice. Love it. And when I, one of the things I really like about this, there really aren't any angular walls. It's all very, it's all sloped and changing colors and changing different directions, which is so nice. Right. This, is, this really is a home that will fit anybody's needs and anybody's style, because it's not too far left, not too far right. I mean, this thing fits what almost everybody's looking for right now. Yeah, beautiful. And they did a really good job on their colors, real natural colors that go perfectly with the outdoors when you're looking out those windows. Like absolutely, absolutely. 
So this looks like this is the master or this is a office? So, so this is actually the, the professional office. So this home has five bedrooms, including a full real casita with a separate entrance. And you can see here a huge master suite with, with again, those floor to ceiling windows of phenomenal views. Yeah, very nice. You can see just so much light to take in. They did the really nice sheetrock so you don't have edges on everything. It's, yeah, that's very expensive to do. You can tell it's very tasteful work. Absolutely. And, and again, that's why this home will fit what anybody's looking for, because it's not, you know, stale or cold, modern blacks and whites and grays, but it's not on the warm, warm side either. I mean, it is a perfect tone, perfect feel, great finishes, and extremely high upgraded finishes as well. Yeah, you can tell. And so Entrada is known, it's got a lot of the golf course of course that's wonderful there, but they have lots of walking trails and lots of amenities, right? Absolutely. So you, you have the opportunity to buy into the, the private golf course community. And then of course you have the trails right there, you're minutes from, from Snow Canyon State Park and Tuacon. There's multiple golf courses within 10 minutes of this area. You're within uh, 20, 25 minutes to three lakes. And of course, all the side-by-sides and sand dunes and trails and dirt bikes within 15 minutes of here. I mean, take your pick, everything is right here. Yeah, look at this outdoor living that they have there, the little water that runs by their house. How, how charming is that? So you can hear the water running? Very Absolutely. Nice. Yep, so it's a really quite private backyard. Low maintenance backyard too, so this will work great for a primary or secondary getaway residence. We have that water feature right in your backyard. It helps muffle any any minor noise because this is a very private area to start with. But again, that helps quiet everything down even more. Yeah, beautiful property. Very, very nice. So Chase, if somebody want to reach out to you, how would they contact you? You can email us at aimsteam at sgremax.com or call us at 435-674-6011. Looking around the state, let's head over to Park City and see what's trending with the David Lawson team. So Thad, what are we gonna look at today? We're looking at the residents at the Old Mill, uh, the only 55 plus retirement community in Summit County. And it, this is right in the downtown Camas. So take a look at that, Thad, some beautiful mountains right there. Camas really closely located to Park City. So this is kind of that spillover area, right? Yeah, this is a nice development we have downtown in the heart of Camas, right at the base of the Uinta Mountains. They call it the, Camas is the gateway to the Uinta Mountains and all the recreation that's offered up there from snowmobiling, backcountry skiing, hiking, fishing, all, all that an outdoorsman would want to do. Yeah, and it's right close to downtown and everything. Everything is gone. Yeah, you can walk to the Summit County, their state-of-the-art aquatic and fitness center, and then also the dining areas and restaurants and shopping in downtown Camas, and the DeJoria Center that uh, offers nice dining and uh, events is only five minutes away. Yeah, it looks like the finishes that they put in here are just absolutely stunning. Yeah, they're high-end luxury, modern finishes, uh, what everybody wants today, but with a little bit of wood, so it maintains that mountain feel and look to it. Yeah. And then stainless steel appliances and nice fixtures. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's perfect because they've laid this out to basically be a rambler. So everything you need is on the main floor, your master bedroom, your kitchen, your laundry and all that kind of stuff. But they've also put a basement in there for storage and place for the kids to come, right? Yeah, it makes it great for the seniors so they don't have to go downstairs except when uh, the grandkids come and then they can uh, have fun down there and have plenty of space to spread out and kids to visit and there's also a, a guest bedroom on the main floor as well so you're right you literally don't have to go downstairs can stay all on the main level if you want yeah and they've got these nice big windows and views out there lots of mountains and everything around there but it's still very close to park city and so this is considered a really good value because it's not far away oh yeah it's only 10 minutes to park city and to the ski slopes uh, even closer to deer valley 15 minutes to Heber or Midway, and uh, you're only five, well, 10 minutes to I-80 to get down to Salt Lake or east to uh, Colville or, or Evanston. Yeah, and I, they've continued that style and design, that kind of nice, cheery, open kind of feel as they go into the lower level here, and really nice floors and, and nice tall ceilings, right? Yeah, it's all built, so it's maintenance-free, and, um, Nice three to four bedroom plans, 2,500 to 2,900 square feet, 
um, yeah, laid out really well and for convenience and for uh, easy access and walkability. So how many of these do you have left? Uh, we have six left to be built. We have two pending right now and two that are still available that are totally built. Uh, and that'll bring us up to a total of 22 units once it's all done. So if somebody wanted more information, how would they reach out to you? Yeah, they can call me at 435-640-5133 or visit us online at LawsonRealEstateTeam.com.